Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. In today's video I will be trying out my new mould from Moulds and Shapes. It's the Leaf Tray Mould and it's one of their new designs and I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm going to be trying out two different techniques so you'll be seeing two different trays today and I really hope you enjoy the video. Right, here's the leaf tray mould I will be using today. It's from Moulds and Shapes and this is my first time using it. I couldn't wait to see what the tray would look like because sometimes it's hard to imagine the finished piece just by looking at the mould. Right, before I could start my first tray, I needed to make a template around the inner section of the mould. I'm using a sheet of transparency film and a marker pen and I'm just making a rough outline around that inner section and this will be used in a couple of minutes for my paint effect. The paint effect which I want to try out will be in all those middle sections of the tray but for the rest of it I want to use some metallic gold powder directly onto the silicon to make a nice gold edge on the finished tray. To apply the pigment powder, I'm using a big soft brush, dipping it into the pot and then just brushing it directly onto the silicon and it clings really well to the silicon. It's not the same with all moulds. Some moulds that you get, I've found that it, they're not very clingy. Um, yeah, but with this kind of silicon, the powder clings very well and I've never had a problem we're doing this technique with any of my moulds and shapes moulds. So there must be something about the silicon they use that just works so well. And I'm just going into all the nooks and crannies and being very thorough. And I looked at it from all different angles to make sure I hadn't missed any bits. And yeah, it's just a case of brushing all over. It's quite fun actually. So once I'd finished applying my gold powder, it was time to remove the excess off those raised sections in the middle. And for that, I'm just using baby wipes. I find that that's the easiest way. I know you can use tape, um, but I found that this is a little bit better. It's just my preference. You might have your own way of doing it. Right, for the paint effects that I wanted to try out, I'm using 24 karat gold metallic paint from Deco Art. I gave it a good shake and I'm just going to apply it to those blue sections in the middle with a brush. I've used this technique before in other videos, but never directly onto the silicon like this. So this was a complete mystery to me whether it would work or not. And also because I didn't want to have to wipe it all off if I went wrong because of all that, you know, the powder on the mould, I didn't want to disturb it, didn't want to touch it at all. I wanted this to work the first time. I really, really didn't want to have to wipe it all off again and start again. So yeah, I'm just brushing it fairly thinly, not too much, not too little. As you can see, it's just a just kind of a slight covering and you can still see some of the silicon through it. I haven't gone right to the edges because when I do the next step, I didn't want to squash all the paint out over the edges and onto that. Um, gold powder on the silicone. It's hard to explain but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Right, once I'd finished applying the paint it was time to get my transparency film that I prepared earlier and as you can see I wrote on it so I could remember which way up it went. Didn't want to try putting it on the wrong way and then I just made sure it was in the right position and then flattened it down Gave it a good squish all over to make sure it was in contact with all the paint. And then once I'd finished doing that, it was time to peel it off. Okay, so it's time to peel it off and I just took it from one side and gently pulled it up. And what you will see is the paint effect that you get from it is kind of like the veins of a leaf is kind of very natural looking and that's why I went for this idea I thought it would look really good on the tray and look like leaf, um, kind of like veins I don't know what do you think maybe maybe you disagree but 
there was there's just something so organic about it. It's like tree roots or something like that. I just thought it might work. But we will see, won't we? <laughs> right then, so next I mixed up some of my resin. For this, I'm using Epoxy 5. It's a deep pour resin. And actually, you don't need a deep pour resin for this. But because I was going to be using it black and I had some resin to use up, I thought, well, yeah, I'll use the old resin, which was starting to go a little bit yellow because I'd had it open in the bottle for too long. Um, you know, resin does go yellow over time once you've opened it. And recently I've been trying to use up my old resins. So that's why I went for this particular one. Um, I knew it would take longer to cure because it's a deep pour resin, but at least I got to use it up and it, no one will ever know that it was starting to go yellow because I've got black opaque pigment in it. I had guessed at how much I would need, so I had to quickly mix up a little bit more because I didn't have quite enough. But then typically when I made the little bit more, I made too much. <laughs> so I did use it though, I made a coaster off camera, um, so it did get used. Right then, two days later, it was ready to take out of the mould. Um, yeah, like I said, it was deep pour resin, so it took longer to cure. And it's actually still a bit bendy at that stage. But once it's out of the mould, it hardens up nice and quickly. So let's see. I was quite intrigued. I, I don't know. I had a feeling it might not turn out well. But we'll see. <laughs> you know, when you just little bit nervous rather than excited <laughs> about unmoulding something. I was a bit nervous about this one. See what you think. Let's have a look. Right then, my first thoughts were, yeah, the gold. The gold on the edges has worked very, very well, especially with the black behind it. It shows up well, you know, the gold powder that I put on the mould. That has really done the trick. And as for the paint pattern in the middle, yeah, it's not as good as I hoped it would turn out, but I do like it. Um, yeah, what do you think about this one? I'm intrigued to know because it's not really my style, but I'm sure some people will like it. Anyway, we'll have another look at that later on. We're on to the next one because I decided I wanted another go. Okay, for this one, I decided to do something a bit different. I mixed up just enough resin just to go around the edges and the veins in the middle. So all the bits around those inner sections. I've got some moss green Arteza mica powder and I'm just mixing it into my resin. This time I'm using Art Pro resin, which is also from Resin Pro. The first one in the first leaf, the Epoxy 5, that was Resin Pro and this one is as well. And so yeah, it's just a case of mixing it up. I really loved that colour while it was in the pot. It looks very different actually on the finished tray, but in the pot I really like it. <laughs> Right, once I'd finished mixing my resin, I put my mould onto my levelling table and began filling in the areas where I wanted it. I have some new silicon cups from Amazon and this is one of them. And I did find that it was very easy to control the resin with it. And yeah, I like them. They're just about the right size. And yeah, I like choosing that that silicon cup they're great because then you can reuse them can't you with them made of silicon anyway as you can see i did make a few little splashes where i didn't want the resin to be so i just got some earbuds and just cleaned up the areas where i'd got the splashes of resin Right then, it's the next day and the sun was streaming through the window, so I had to bring the blind down a bit so that you'd be able to see what I was doing without being blinded by the light. Right, so I've mixed up my resin. I've got some spring green mica powder, some vitriol dark green um, transparent liquid pigment, and I've also got some interference gold 
uh, from Resin Pro. Uh, I didn't show you the front of the bottle because it was in the wrong bottle when it arrived. <laughs> and I didn't want to confuse you. Right, so I've got a couple of sticks there and I'm putting them under the foot of the levelling table. And then I'm doing the same on the other foot, just on the right hand side. I'm going to be pouring my resin from the handle end and I wanted it to be able to flow downwards to the left of the screen basically. So right I've mixed up the resin about equal amounts of each colour probably a bit more of the uh, interference gold that's the one I mixed most of I would have said but it's all, it was almost the same. I'm just alternating the colours and pouring them at the handle because I find that you get a really interesting effect going on if you pour from just at the end of the handle where the the piece of the mould is that makes the hole uh, that separates the resin as you can see and you get a really good effect happening. I'm going to speed this up now because even though it was really nice to see it in real time it did take me a while and it's actually quite fun to see it speeded up too. So anyway I used quite a lot of the interference gold in this and the reason I did that was because I found that it's heavier than the other colours and it kind of sinks through and you get a lovely pillow effect and I was hoping that that would look good as a you know te the texture of a leaf that's what I was going for so yeah we will see what happens when I get it out the mould right then so it's the end of that same day and actually i quite liked the back side of the tray i don't know it's got some quite nice little things going on in there but anyway that is the back we need to see the front so <laughs> Let's have a look to see what happened. I think you can probably tell by my voice that I wasn't too sure. Yeah, let's have a look. Right then. First impression was I don't like the stripes. <laughs> it's gone stripey and I, I, for some reason I didn't think it would. But I love the texture. I think it looks like a leaf texture, almost like a cabbage leaf. Do you think? Maybe a cabbage leaf? Yeah, so I love the texture effect on there, but I don't really like the pattern. However, I learned something from it. I learned that that technique does work, but I would maybe next time do maybe clear with the gold to still get the pillowing effect but not the stripey effect. So now let's have another look at the first tray, a bit of a closer look and yeah I'm actually unsure about which is my favourite. Which one do you like best? So as always my links and discount codes for all the products I've used today will be in the video description. We've reached the end of the video and although I wasn't completely happy with the outcome, I think you might have enjoyed it anyway. I hope you have. <laughs> anyway, I will see you again next week. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.